Today our topic will be over multiplying integers, whole numbers and their opposites. So let's look at our question for today. On July 14th, the price of Nike stock was $78. It decreased $2 per day for four consecutive days. It's like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, back to back, four days at back to back. What was the total change in value of the stock over the four day period? So it decreased. Decrease means negative. It decreased $2 per day for four days. So for four days, it decreased negative $2. You could do it this way. Remember, multiplication is repeated addition. So, on the first day, decrease $2. Second day, decrease $2. Third day, decrease $2. On the fourth day, it decreased $2. Looks like it could be a decrease negative $8 in total. Or you could do four groups of negative 2 is negative 8. So it's saying you have four groups of negative two. Do you have four groups of this negative two? You do, negative eight. So at closing, or July 17th, which is four days later, what was the uh, current price of Nike stock? So if it was $78, it decreased $8. $70 is the answer. So let's look at our activity for today. So today we're learning how to multiply. We're going to model it, and then we're going to show you do number line, and then we're going to show you uh, if you can do it through your head intuitively. You have three groups of positive 2. Here's one group of positive 2, two groups of positive 2. This is the third group of positive 2. What do you have? Look like I have positive 6. If you look at your number line, you have three groups of negative, a positive two. So you have one group of positive two, two groups of positive two, and this is the third group of positive two. Because remember, multiplication is repeated addition. Plus two, plus two, plus two, three groups of plus two, positive six. So let's see. That's weird. Seems as though if you have two positive, the answer stays as positive. Hmm. I'm just generalizing right now. Next one. You have three groups of four negative. So we have three groups of four negative. Here's the first group of four negatives. Here's the second group of four negatives. This is the third group of four negatives. In total, look like we have negative 12 as our answer. How would you show this on a number line? So you have three groups of four negatives. So remember, negative goes towards the left side of a number line. Here is the first group of four negative. Here is the second group of four negative. Oh, our number line has not extended long enough. That's okay. Because we know this is negative 11, this is negative 12, this is the third group of four negative. So it's negative 12. Three groups of four negative. Negative 12. As I look at this, let's do some generalization. It's like you multiply three times, four is 12. This weird. This has a negative, and you look like you keep the negative. Let's go back to the other one. Seems like if you have two positive, you remain positive because they are the same, they are like each other. In this one, they are unlike, the, so they're, one's a positive, one's a negative, and it keeps a negative. Interesting. Next one. The way you read this is you have four groups. What's the opposite of? This negative thing. What is the opposite of four groups of positive three? So let's do four groups of positive three, first of all. Four groups of positive three. Here's the first group of positive three. Second group of positive three. Third group of positive three. Here's the last group of positive three. Looks like we have positive 12. But 
This negative right here is saying, what is the opposite of this? Opposite of positive 12 will be negative 12. So the answer is negative 12. So, if, so it's saying, what is the opposite of four groups of positive 3? So positive 12 become negative 12. Let me make it a little better, neater. Let's look at this. That's weird. It seems like if you have a negative in your answer, one negative, one positive, it becomes, it stays negative. Let's go back to the other screen. Hey, there's a negative here with a positive. It becomes negative. When you have two positive, it stays positive. Interesting. Let's look at our last example. It's saying, what's the opposite of two groups of negative three? So let's do our first group. This is the first group of negative three. This is the second group of negative three. What do you have as your answer? Negative six. But this negative right here, this negative right here, is saying what is the opposite of? What's the opposite of negative six? Positive six. So, that's weird. You have two negatives, it becomes positive. Interesting, because the opposite of negative six is positive six. Let's go back to the screen. It seems as if the signs are the same, it's going to be positive. Yep, signs are the same, it's positive. While if the signs are different, the answer will be negative. What happens if you have three numbers, such as this one? So it's, we're not going to really model here, but it says the following. You have, what's the opposite of two groups of five? Let's do the first two numbers in this. So two groups of five is ten. What's the opposite of ten? Negative ten. And in this one, you have ten groups of four. What's ten groups of four? Forty. But what's the opposite of forty? Negative forty. When there's a negative sign in front of the integer, it's the opposite of. So what's the opposite of forty? Negative forty. So let's go back. Let's see. Oh. These two are unlike each other, so it's negative. These two are unlike each other, it's negative. So if the signs are the same, look like you use positive will be the answer. If they're unlike, it'll be negative. And our last example, you have what's the opposite? Let's look at the first two. What's the opposite of four groups of negative two? First of all, what is four groups? You know, I have to use my modeling. Four groups of negative 2 is negative 8. Opposite of negative 8 is positive 8. What is 8 groups of negative 3? 8 groups of negative 3. It'll be negative 3, 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 negative 3. Negative three. It's remember, it's repeated addition. So guys, negative 24 is our answer. Eight. Let's make sure. These two are, the signs are like each other, so the answer will be positive. These two are different, are unlike, so the answer has to be negative. You know, let's look at a visualization of rules here. This helps me out. So it says, sing, this song is sang to the tune of Row, Row, Row Your Boat. So, multiply or divide, it's an easy thought. Same signs are positive, different signs are not. Does this really, really work? Is it this easy? All you do is, if the same signs, let's see, two groups of three, negative two, negative three, uh, two groups of negative three, and negative three, and with groups of two. So let's see if this is correct. If you have two groups of positive three, it's positive six. 
same signs are positive. So far, correct. What's two groups of, what's, sorry, what's the opposite of two groups of negative three? Here's a, here are two groups of negative three, it's negative six. Opposite of negative six is positive six. Wait, so same signs are positive. That's quick. I like that. It's very fast. Let's look at the next one. You have two groups of negative three. That's negative six. Different signs are not so. These two signs are different, so it's not positive. What is the opposite of three groups of two? Positive two. Here's a first group of positive two, second group of positive two, third group of positive two. So the opposite of positive six is negative six. So when the signs are different, they're not positive. So multiply or divide is an easy thought. Same signs are positive, different signs are not. So let's practice two or three more examples. Let's go to this one. What is the opposite of seven groups of negative two? So seven groups of negative two is negative 14. Opposite is positive 14. Or if you want to use what we just sang about, Multiply or divide is an easy thought. Same signs are positive. Same signs are positive. These two signs are the same, so it's positive 14. And that goes right here. Multiply or divide is an easy thought. Same signs are positive. Different signs are not so. Seven groups of negative 5 is negative 35. And it goes right here. Right here. What's eight groups of negative three? So if you re do repeated addition, eight groups of negative three seems like it'll be negative 24. But if you would like to go back to that song, multiply or divide is an easy thought. Same signs are positive. Different signs are not. So different signs, so negative 24. Let's go to our last screen. Let's do with three integers. So let's focus on our first two. Three groups of negative 4, negative 4, negative 4, negative 4, is negative 12. What is the opposite of 12 groups of 5? That is 60, but opposite of 60 is negative 60, and it's right here. So let's see if it's correct. Uh, multiply or divide is an easy thought. Same signs are positive, different signs are not. So these two signs are different, so it's negative 12. These two signs are different, still negative. Let's try our last example here. Uh, what's two groups of negative three? Negative three, negative three is negative six times negative four. What is the opposite of six groups of negative four? So negative four, negative four, negative four. Negative four, negative four, negative four is negative 24. Opposite of negative 24 is positive 24. Is there a positive 24? And there is. If you want to sing the song again, multiply or divide is an easy thought. Same signs are positive, different signs are not. So these two signs are different, so it's not positive. These two signs are the same, positive. So the main thing you need to know is, if the signs are the same, such as these, the answer will be positive. If the signs are different, such like as this, the answer will be not positive or negative. That is the study of multiplying integers.